Biomedical Equipment Technician, Wikipedia Article Audio A biomedical engineering slash equipment technician slash technologist or biomedical engineering slash equipment specialist is typically an electromechanical technician or technologist who ensures that medical equipment is well maintained, properly configured, and safely functional. In healthcare environments, BMETs often work with or officiate as a biomedical and slash or clinical engineer, since the career field has no legal distinction between engineers and engineering technicians slash technologists. BMETs are employed by hospitals, clinics, private sector companies, and the military. Normally, BMETs install, inspect, maintain, repair, calibrate, modify and design biomedical equipment and support systems to adhere to medical standard guidelines but also perform specialized duties and roles. BMETs educate, train, and advise staff and other agencies on theory of operation, physiological principles, and safe clinical application of biomedical equipment maintaining the facility's patient care and medical staff equipment. Senior experienced BMETs perform the official part in the daily management and problem solving of healthcare technology beyond repairs and scheduled maintenance, such as capital asset planning, project management, budgeting, and personnel management, designing interfaces and integrating medical systems, training end users to utilize medical technology, and evaluating new devices for acquisition. Regulatory Issues Biomedical Equipment Technology Training The acceptance of the BMET in the private sector was given a big push in 1970 when consumer advocate Ralph Nader wrote an article in which he claimed, at least 1,200 people a year are electrocuted and many more are killed or injured in needless electrical accidents in hospitals. BMETs cover a vast array of different functional fields and medical devices. However, BMETs do specialize and focus on specific kinds of medical devices and technology management and work strictly on medical imaging and slash or medical laboratory equipment as well as supervises and slash or manages HDM departments. These experts come from either from the military, or an OEM background. An imaging repair specialist usually does not have much, if any, general BMET training. However, there are situations where a BMET will cross-train into these functional fields. Examples of different areas of medical equipment technology are BMETs work closely with nursing staff, and medical materiel personnel to obtain parts, supplies, and equipment and even closer with facility management to coordinate equipment installations requiring certain facility infrastructure requirements slash modifications. BMETs must conform with federal and state regulations and local standards on medical device safety as well as most biomedical systems must have documentation to show that they were managed, modified, tested, and delivered. In addition, biomedical systems are used according to a planned, approved process that increases the quality and safety of diagnostics and therapeutic equipment that reduces the risk of injury, harm, or death to patients and staff. Professional Certification In the United States, BMETs may operate under various regulatory frameworks. Clinical devices and technologies are generally governed by the Food and Drug Administration, National Fire Protection Agency particularly NFPA 99 and Chapter 7, NFPA 70, Life Safety Code 101. Code of Federal Regulations 21, Occupational Safety and Health Administration, the Joint Commission Hospital or Accreditation Association for Ambulatory Health Care Standards, 
and ensures compliance with these codes and standards for the U.S. Government Registry of Biomedical Devices. Other countries typically have their own mechanisms for regulation. Employment Traditionally, biomedical equipment technology has been an interdisciplinary field to specialize in after completing an associate degree in biomedical equipment technology, biomedical electronics technology, or biomedical engineering technology. Some BMETs get their training through the military. Most entry-level BMETs enter into the field with a two-year associate degree in biomedical equipment technology, or they spend about one year in full-time military training. A four-year graduate is a health technology management professional who can perform official medical equipment management duties as a clinical engineer clinical engineering manager or director of clinical engineering. Practical experience should be gained through internships while continuing education is provided by specific medical device manufacturers and on-the-job training classes. BMET degree programs should be accredited by the ABET or the AITME both of whom offer specialized slash programmatic accreditation for BMET programs. In addition, Many four-year graduates from accredited programs have studied or go on to study biomedical engineering, more specifically clinical engineering, if they wish to perform research and slash or design. Many BMETs pursue professional certification, such as satisfying certain education requirements and passing an examination from the International Certification Commission and the Association for the Advancement of Medical Instrumentation to become a certified biomedical equipment technician, that is an accomplished generalized certification in the field covering many facets. There are four other certifications BMETs should obtain such as Certified Radiology Equipment Specialists that specializes more specifically in Diagnostic Imaging, Radiological, and Nuclear Medicine Equipment, Certified Laboratory Equipment Specialists that covers the abundance of equipment found in the many different kinds of laboratory environments, Certified Nephrology Equipment Specialist that specifically specializes in Nephrology and Hemodialysis Equipment, and certified healthcare technology manager that specializes in management of healthcare technology operations as well as the management of personnel. One can also choose to obtain the certified biomedical auditor from the American Society of Quality or a biomedical electronics technician certification from the Electronics Technician Association after first obtaining the Associate Electronics Technician certification. In most cases, carrying the title of CBET is highly encouraged, not mandatory but supported and is respected within the technical community. BMETs work in the hospital's biomedical or clinical engineering department, but can also find employment with a third-party independent service organization or original equipment manufacturer. BMETs working for an OEM or ISO are many times called field service engineers. FSE are more narrowly focused and specialized technicians who support service and sales. All military members entering the BMET career field receive comprehensive technical training. Prior to 1998, Army and Navy BMETs received training at the United States Army Equipment and Optical School at Fitzsimmons Army Medical Center in Aurora, Colorado. Only after a July 1995 Base Realignment Closure Commission decided to close FAMC did the Army and Navy merge with the Air Force, conducting training at the Dodd Biomedical Equipment Technician Training School at Shepard Air Force Base, Texas. This school has a partnership with Ames Community College where students receive 81 quarter credits toward an Associate of Applied Science degree with an emphasis in biomedical electronic technology. 
In addition to the credits acquired from .BMET Training School, a minimum of 24 credits must be completed through Ames Community College to receive a degree. As of August 4, 2010, the U.S. military moved the BMET training to San Antonio, TX as a part of their new base realignment plan. All three forces remain in rigorous, tri-service training for 10 months prior to returning to their individual services. The training is held at Fort Sam Houston and is a part of the medical education and training campus. The first METC BMET class started on August 4, 2010, and the last Shepherd class graduated on January 14, 2011. Diagnostic Imaging, Radiographic and Fluoroscopic X ray, Diagnostic Ultrasound, Mammography. Nuclear Imaging, Positron Emission Tomography, Medical Imaging, Computed Tomography, Linear Tomography, Picture Archiving and Communication Systems, Magnetic Resonance Imaging.